Did you know Russia is bigger than Pluto? I think that's pretty cool. Hey guys, this is Shebs from Shebs the Wanderer, helping you to wonder, discover, explore. It's another edition of 15 Minutes where I get the chance to talk to someone else about their travels. My guest today is Yashoda. She is based in Sri Lanka. Uh, she does a lot of her traveling in the country. She will discuss with me why she's doing it and uh, why she hasn't gone abroad as of yet. Uh, she travels with her husband, uh, so we'll find out about her story. Some viewers might find some of the topics we discuss distressing. Hi, Yashoda. How are you? Are you OK? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad at all. How has uh, Sri Lanka been? Uh, well, we've been on lockdown for like three months uh, and we finally got out of it like three weeks, weeks ago. And uh, things are pretty good around here and uh, things are finally getting back to normal. A good reason for you to start traveling again because obviously it's uh, something that you love doing. Um, just want to quickly before we start, uh, I know you were part of my um, sing-along a couple of months ago when it first all started. So how was that experience for you? Well, it was amazing and I loved being part of something like that. And I shared the video off to all my friends and my family and they loved it too. I, I enjoyed having you on there. I think it showed you how you can have so many people from all around the world and connect as one. I think that's that's pretty special. Let me ask you first about how you got into traveling and um, explain where it all began for you. Since I was a kid, I love traveling and uh, I love going, going on trips with my family. And uh, then when I was schooling and when I grew up, it just slowed down a bit and we kind of sort of uh, stopped traveling, me and my family. So it was always there, like, you know, it had a special place in my heart because traveling used to always, you know, like, make me feel, uh, make me feel actually at peace, you know, like going to beautiful places and meeting different people, seeing different places. And uh, so when I was in university, I started traveling with my friends again, and uh, like, small, small trips. And uh, then I, uh, I actually like really got into traveling uh, in around 2015 when I first got a job. And uh, well, after that, I just uh, started going on backpacking trips with my friends. And uh, then after I met my uh, husband, we started traveling like every other week or so because he also loves traveling and uh, it was, uh, it's actually a perfect match for <laughs> the two of us. And uh, so we've been traveling uh, everywhere, like uh, all around Sri Lanka. And uh, we've uh, mostly been backpacking uh, in the mountains, hiking and trekking, and sometimes uh, to the beaches. And uh, we both, uh, we both love nature. Yeah, that's how I got into traveling. When you said you were, st you started traveling with your family, uh, did your family take you abroad or was it within Sri Lanka that you were traveling? Um, it's just within Sri Lanka. We went to India one time to visit my sisters and that was it. We've been mostly traveling around Sri Lanka. And explain why traveling around Sri Lanka is so important to you. Is it... Do you want to explore everything around the country, get an understanding of your culture within? Uh, because when we talk about traveling, sometimes, I mean, for myself, I've gone all over the world. Um, but explain to people why you don't necessarily have to travel abroad um, to experience something. You know, when we think about traveling, most of us think that it's, uh, you know, we have to travel out of our countries. Sometimes you realize that uh, there are, you know, there are beautiful things like, you know, like very close to you, you know, like in close proximity. 
So that's what I uh, realized when I was traveling around Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka is a very, very beautiful country. Right? There are so many beautiful places to see. And uh, even though I've been traveling for like uh, two or three years now, all around Sri Lanka, there are still so many places that I have to see. So if I want to see all the places on, in my bucket list in Sri Lanka first before I go abroad and explore the new countries. I'm just, you know, confined to traveling in Sri Lanka at the moment. One of the things I've started doing, uh, maybe about a couple of years ago, same thing as you, I started traveling around the United Kingdom. I realized how beautiful you know, my country is compared yeah. to, well, because one of the perceptions that I've, I grew up with was to go experience travel and you've got to go abroad, you see. So, and then maybe a couple of years ago when someone said to me, whatever you experience in your own country, I was like, oh, actually, I haven't really as much. So I made it a mission now to travel. Obviously at this current moment, I haven't been able to, but I've made it a mission to go away every other weekend or every other week or something like that and experience a new so it it's a testament to yourself that you're trying to do your own country first before uh venturing out abroad and i think that's uh that's a, that's a, that's a great thing and especially let's just say if you once you did start going abroad uh when people ask you oh what's sri lanka like you can say right i know the whole of sri lanka let, yeah. me, tell you, let me tell you where to go <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. I've done that. <laughs> One of the things I've noticed with your with your traveling is the waterfalls. Mm. You take a you take a lot of pictures with waterfalls, and uh, and I know I know your husband takes majority of the photographs. Mm -hmm. So yeah. why why is waterfalls such a such a impactful thing for you? Just find waterfalls magical. Just when I go to a waterfall, I just feel really calm and peaceful and it just I don't know it's just so wonderful and I can sit there for hours and stare at it and uh, I just I'm just fascinated by waterfalls during this camping trip the last weekend there was a waterfall in the jungle during our trek and uh, we went all the way searching for it and <laughs> He searched for hours and just finally found it and it was beautiful and I think waterfalls kind of speaks to me. <laughs> I, I think that's a really good uh, point that you make because it's whatever connects you to yeah. a place and if waterfalls is one of those things then why not? Where would you like to first go uh, abroad once it's all done would you like to start off maybe in asia and then work your way through the rest of the world uh, i actually wanted to go to vietnam and thailand first when i go abroad and you know like those are islands in thailand the four Fiji islands and stuff yeah and yeah they're so, so beautiful and so wide spread and there are so many beautiful places in vietnam too and the vietnam culture is amazing it's from like what I have read about it and I want to explore those places first when I go back and maybe Bali that is beautiful uh, I've been to Vietnam I can tell you how awesome that is Thailand I've been to as well so uh, I'm sure you'd love it what is it about those places that you want to go visit them first apart, you know let's just say rather than going to Europe or Africa or America or... I've always wanted to go to Bali because Bali has so many beautiful beaches and so much nature, you know. And Vietnam, Vietnam has some amazing waterfalls. I've seen some pictures, so I want to go and see them. And uh, uh, Thailand, Thailand's islands are amazing. And I want to, like, you know, take a canoe ride around one of those islands. Within your social media platform, you've gained a a big gathering and it's obviously people within Sri Lanka and stuff so obviously once you start venturing you might come across more different people and what, one, of the th one of the beauties about um, social media is how you can connect so we connected but sometimes you do get people who aren't as nice and you've had cases where people have sent you some nasty messages and oh, have yeah. kept you troll so explain how you deal with that because 
I know some of the some of the messages that you get isn't so nice. So explain that. I've been getting some hateful messages from some people, some sexually abusive messages from some for for a long time now. But I I actually used to ignore all those messages because most of them go to the message request section, and I hardly check that. So, but um, so I've been ignoring them, and because ignoring them is the best, you know, like. You don't want to get them into your head, you know. And um, but there was uh, this one case, like I think it was a month or a couple of months back. This guy was always sending me like very sexually harassing messages, and I used to ignore, ignore him, like totally ignore him. I didn't block him though. So what he did was he went and put a very harassing, bullying comment on one of my posts. So, yeah, you know, I lost it then. And then I replied to his comment and then I just uh, shared his screenshots on my social media and I posted the story about it. So, I think ignoring those messages, ignoring bullies might work to some extent. But there are some people who are so persistent that you have to speak out. You know, like, you finally have to stand up against these people and you have to let them know that you are, that they can't mess with you like that. That is wrong. So I think um, rather than ignoring them, I think you need to speak up. And, you know, like, if you can, you can just share screenshots of these people you can name them and you can shame them on social media. And because you have a strong, if you have a strong inner circle of people, of friends that back you, and uh, then it's all right, I think. It's all right to speak up because it's wrong. So you have to speak up against things that are wrong. It's quite a sad situation where people will go and try and make you oh, belittle you um, obviously as you said you've had sexual abusive uh, messages yeah. and stuff and it's and it's obviously not nice and you've what you've done is probably one of the, the good things in terms of trying to ignore it however as you said if you're constantly getting that abuse I mean there are girls out there that do get loads of these I mean I think partly it's because people are jealous you know they are seeing you do this amazing stuff let's just say if you traveled obviously for yourself you know some guys can be jealous of your lifestyle and they i don't know want to make you feel like nothing really and thank you for sharing that Sri Lanka is somewhere i want to go to and it, i was meant i wanted to i was planning on potentially going this year to Sri Lanka where would you say is a good place to start I would uh, advise you to start from the from the southwest coast. Like there are Gaul, Matare, you know, uh, there are so many beautiful beaches. And then you can go up to the hill country. You know, like there's Alla, Madula, and uh, uh, Balamaya. There are so many, so many beautiful places in the hill country. And then you can go and see the cultural sites also. There are like some very beautiful Buddhist cultural sites and Hindu and Islam cultural sites are there. And then the wildlife parks. Make sure to visit the wildlife parks because they are amazing. The Yala Wildlife Park is amazing. And yeah, there are a lot of places. Those are some of my favorite places in Sri Lanka. And which Lanka? I mean, is it the is it, is it an expensive country to travel around, or is it fairly cheap once you're once you're um, in the country? Yeah, it. Uh, well, I think it ha it's suits all budgets. You know, there are like there are luxury high end uh, traveling experiences like resorts and luxury travel agents, and there are budget travel options also. And uh, by being budget, I mean like they have all the comforts you need, but their pricing are on the lower end, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not very expensive. Any budget can be traveling in Sri Lanka.
I'd advise to do your research before coming. You know, like make a list of the places you want to visit. And also for solo female travelers, I'd advise you to like take, you know, like safety precautions, all the safety precautions that you t that you that you can take. Sri Lanka is a very friendly country, the people are very friendly. Sri Lankan food I believe is really, really spicy, is that correct? Oh uh, well yes, some are very spicy. Yeah. The spiciness is uh, almost always moderate to high. But the Sri Lankan cuisine is amazing. And uh, like if you're visiting just staying in hotel, just let them know if you want a less spicy food in advance so they are prepared for you. And otherwise it will be spicy but it will be good. Indian food is obviously renowned all around the world but what's one difference would you say between Sri Lankan food and Indian food? Indians use a lot of coriander in okay. their food and uh, Sri Lankans use less coriander. So I think that makes the difference in taste of the dishes. And uh, Sri Lanka has a lot of traditional dishes just like India, so um, in terms of spiciness, uh, there's not much of a difference because both cuisines are spicy. Is it, um, it, it's cooked in a form of a curry, isn't it? And you have like rice and, do you eat chapatis yeah. as well? Is that, is that something that you guys eat? Uh, chapatis, we sometimes eat, but we have our own form of, form of uh, roti. Okay. Okay, like, uh, you made it with flour and coconut, and like, you know, desiccated coconut. Oh, you mix right. it up, okay. and yeah, that's the signature that we in Sri Lanka. We eat chapatis also, and paratas. But uh, that, that uh, coconut gudu is a signature dish. Oh, well, I don't think I've ever tried coconut rotis before, <laughs> so I have to... Uh... I have not have, it's only available in Sri Lanka. Oh, okay, I, I will definitely come and try a coconut roti. When I come to Sri Lanka, so that yeah, sounds uh, sounds it. sounds amazing. Uh, but what's one item that you have to have to travel, you know, parts of Sri Lanka with? For me, it's my phone. It's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take pictures. Yeah. Um, my sunscreen, of course, because sunscreen, yeah. Yeah, during the day, the sun can be very harsh, and uh, yeah, you need to have some water with you. Well, I think we've come to sort of the end of our chat. It's been fabulous having you on. And uh, thank you for sharing your story, especially about uh, some of the, um, the abuse that you do get online and how to tackle it and explain why you should travel maybe your own country before you go out abroad. Uh, because I think there are so much beauty within your own domain and uh, I think we sometimes do neglect it so thank you for telling us that story. I've had a very great time Shibs, thank you all so much for making me be a part of this. Can't wait for the video. Thank you for coming on and uh, take care of yourself. Well if you learn anything from that you would realize that traveling around your own country is something that we should all do and um, we don't necessarily have to go abroad to experience something new. If anyone has suffered from any harassment and they want to confide in someone, I am more than happy to be that someone. That's it for another edition of 15 Minutes. I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, bye for now.